What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. And today I want to talk to you about Tessica Brown's GoFundMe page. Now, um, according to the New York Post and other, you know, outlets that are talking about this, it's under investigation because people were reporting her page as fraudulent and stuff like that. It was saying, um, her page is, her GoFundMe is fraudulent. Now, a lot of people feel like what she did was a scam. Um, they felt like she, they, people felt like she did that to grow, um, to boost up her social media and to get money from people. So a lot of folks felt like it was finesse by her, okay? Because they couldn't understand how can a 40 year old woman put Gorilla Glue in their hair without knowing and knowing it's not supposed to be in there. So it's a lot of stuff going on with that. But yes, she was supposed to donate $20,000 to Dr. Obang um, Restoration Foundation um, to restore, you know, hair or any type of surgery that needs to happen. It was going to his, to restore foundation, okay? Um, $20,000. Now, She's upset about that because she's like, she did not do this on purpose. She's not lying about anything. Why are people on the internet making it hard for her? She just don't understand, you know, who, why are people talking about who she can and can't give the money to? Because she also, with the rest of the money that was left over after she gave Dr. Obang his $20,000 for his foundation, she was going to take the rest of the money and donate money to, or, you know, to somebody at her church at St. At Bernard Parish, three families. So I, I feel like she's doing a good deed with the money, but people are still side-eyeing her. And like, you know, even though she got t-shirts, they're like, why are you like profiting off your pain? So I mean, hey, if that's what she want to do, you can't stop her. She's going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> but it seems that people are still giving her a hard time and they are stopping the GoFundMe. Now, GoFundMe and miss brown have been talking and i guess they will release the funds to her after the investigation is over but she has to put on that page what she's doing with the money okay but yeah a lot of people was reporting that gofundme page as a scam it was fraudulent so of course gofundme is going to investigate but it looks as if they was and they were talking and it looks like they're going to give her the money eventually after the whole thing is over with and Dr. Obang is still going to get his $20,000 for his foundation. And she's going to still distribute the rest of the money to the three people that she um going to choose in her church at St. Bernard Parish. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think that people should just leave her alone at this point? Leave her alone. Let her do what she want to do with the money. I mean, because people donated to her. You're not going to get your money back. You get what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um... People still think she, she scammed. Even if she did scam, hey, it's over and done with now. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys later.